Halloween's next Monday. Many families are preparing for pretty close to normal celebrations this year. The holiday can create childhood memories, but it can also be dangerous. Amory Wilder joins us with tips from a health expert to keep your kids safe. Amory? Eric Nimi, a doctor with UW Health, says there is a slight increase in minor injuries on Halloween, like scrapes or broken bones. But parents can keep the scares in the haunted house and out of the ER simply by preparing properly. I think everything's going to go great. It should be a good holiday. Ryan Camp and his daughter, Emily, took a trip to the Halloween store Wednesday to check out costumes. October 31st is an exciting day for families. But Dr. Nicholas Kunell with UW Health Kids says, as a pediatric emergency medicine physician, he's always thinking about safety aspects. Halloween day in and of itself, kids are at twice the risk on average compared to any other day of the year of being hit or run over by a car while they're out trick-or-treating. To prevent that from happening, Kunell suggests carrying a glow stick or light so drivers can see trick-or-treaters. When picking a costume, make sure it is the right size to prevent trips and falls. He also recommends face paints instead of masks because they can limit a child's vision. The doctor urges parents to join young kids if they're going door to door. The camps are taking his advice. They already have a game plan. We already know our route. Uh, we know what time we're going to go out. Uh, we are going to travel in a group. Um, we're going to dress for the weather because who knows what's going to happen. Uh, and then we're going to double check our candy when we do get home. According to camp, he's been in the habit of checking goodies since he was little. And as far as candy goes, Kunell says he always gets one common question. How much candy should I let my kids eat? And you know, when it comes to that, each person has their own rule. Let them go to town on it for one night, spread it out over time. Or if you want to set rules ahead of time as to what it is, I think the most important thing is that as a parent, you also get some of the candy. As a driver, you should drive slow, turn your lights on, and be careful going around corners. We have a list of all the local trick-or-treat times on MyStateLine.com. Eric?